The Queen City News team is hitting the road for week two of Queen City Hometown. This week's visit means we don't have to travel very far up I-85 to find Kannapolis. Queen City News reporter Brent Baldick has already found it. He's in downtown Kannapolis and has a look at the big name in town continuing to be celebrated for achievement in motorsports. Brett? Good morning, Ann, Wyatt, and Jason. So it's been more than 20 years since NASCAR lost Dale Earnhardt, but here in Kannapolis, they have not forgotten about him and they continue to honor him. He was born and raised right here and uh, very rarely, if ever, forgot about his roots. And where we're standing right now is actually one of the many stops on what Cabarrus County calls the Dale Trail. Before you enter downtown Kannapolis using Dale Earnhardt Boulevard, you'll most likely pass by the Center Grove Lutheran Cemetery. This is where the Earnhardt family matriarch Martha now rests with her husband Ralph. When Dale passed away in 2001, she had one wish for her son's legacy. I just hope they won't ever forget Dale, and I don't think they ever will. She was right. Downtown Kannapolis is home to the Dale Earnhardt Tribute Plaza, a park with a nine foot, 900 pound bronze statue of Dale, as well as a granite monument donated by fans from Vermont and New York. Everything about this peaceful downtown green space is related to Dale, from the brick walkway shaped like a racetrack to the benches donated by race fans that are grouped in threes. All right, getting on the hat. Before the seven NASCAR championships, Dale got its start in Kannapolis, working on race cars in the garage of his childhood home. Those race cars were brought just outside Kannapolis to the old Metro line of Speedway in North Charlotte. Ralph Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt, Harry Gant, Tommy Houston, a lot of the local heroes all race there on a consistent basis. The track closed in 1998 and has now been redeveloped. But when it opened back in 1968, those who called Kannapolis home often followed the Earnhardts to cheer them on. It, it became the, the place to be, you know, when they, when they were racing there. So obviously behind me is that 900 pound bronze statue. And just around the corner from here, we are in downtown Kannapolis, is the Curb Music and Motorsports Museum. And if you want to follow the Dale Trail, they have brochures available. All you have to do is stop by the Cabarrus County Visitors Center. And Wyatt and Jason, back to you. Brett, that's cool. How many people do they kind of estimate come to Kannapolis just to see the statue and go through that Dale Trail? Yeah, so obviously Dale Earnhardt had a huge impact on motorsports and NASCAR. He had fans all over the country, all over the world. So it's estimated that probably thousands of people visit Kannapolis, Cabarrus County every year just to see Dale Earnhardt, the statue, the Dale Trail, not also nearby uh, Dale Earnhardt Incorporated is still around as a museum. And if you go on Google, you'll actually see a lot of people from all over the country put their comments on TripAdvisor talking about how they took a picture with this statue and just how uh, great they think the statue is in uh, resembling Dale Earnhardt and honoring him.